Okay guys, welcome back to the lab. I'm going to have a quick chat today about how we made our Savage Performance and Spears R35 GTR coil packs fit onto our VQ35DE Plus TT. So these coils are designed to go into a VR38DE TT, I think is the designation. And they won't directly bolt onto your VQ35, but it can be done with a couple of quick tweaks and um, so I'll follow through with this and I'll show you how I did it there may be other ways to do this of course but I think this is a pretty good way okay, so let's show you how this happens um, VR38 DETT coils onto a VQ35 DE so the first thing you'll notice when you have all your coils set up on the bench next to each other is the length of the stalk significantly longer on the VQ35 engine compared to the VR38. The distance from the center line of the stalk to the center line of your mounting boss is also slightly further, I think it is, yes, further on the VR38, and the boss is slightly higher up. That comes in quite handy. So we'll deal with the stalks first because that's pretty simple. Basically, you just pop them off. It's as easy as that. You can tap the conductor out of the center of them. Keep that stalk. You want that? Put that on that side because we're keeping those. Pop the VR31 8 ones off. Tap the electrode out of those. Take the stalk, put it aside, keep the electrode. Notice the difference in length. The VR38 coils at least the ones supplied from Sandwich Performance and Spears, have a carbon in the end of the coil itself. The stock VQ35DE coils, they have a carbon in the stalk. You can't run that plus that. Bad things happen. The spark tries to jump out the side here because there's too much resistance there. Then, um, then you'll chew through the hole, a hole through the side of your stalk and you'll have a misfire. So use those as a reference. You want to make the new conductor, spring, electrode, whatever you want to call it, you want to make that same length as what that was. I won't bother doing that just for demonstration. You put that back into there and you stick that back onto your coil. And that's it, you're done as far as modifying the coils. They'll be good. Obviously I've made the spring longer, that's now fine. So then you go to fit them into the extremely dirty rocker covers on the top of your motor and you will see there's a big gap it's about four millimeters five millimeters something like that and also as i've said the um the bolt holes don't line up so this is where you make the slight adjustment you want to sit that across there like that measure that distance it's about 12 millimeters, 13 millimeters, something like that. And you want to make six of these. This is a terrible, terrible drawing. You'll have to excuse that. But I made those out of aluminium. It's pretty self-explanatory. That's a hole for your bolt. It goes through the coil there. That bolt hole goes onto there. That is a M6 countersunk bolt hole, which will go there. So basically that takes up your distance for your height and because you've offset it over here and it can pivot you've taken care of your offset and your center line spacing just like that. And once you get those cranked down tight that's not going to move. It's locked into position. So you want to make sure that you clock them around carefully. The two at the front of the engine, it's actually the back of the engine on my car but uh, the front of the engine, obviously over here somewhere, you've got cam actuating solenoids, so you can't clock it that way, because uh, you'll crash into them, so you have to clock it around there. There should be just enough room to sneak it in there. You'll figure it out anyway. Don't put them in and run them without those adapters. If you just try and run them like that, they're quite likely to jump off. You'll be doing drags or something and bounce off the rev limiter and it'll pop out. And your car will misfire and run like a bag of things, bad things. So, 
there you go hopefully that was helpful uh, any of you fellows with 350z's are boosted or you know whatever maximas with boost i guess el grands they put them on all sorts of things didn't they so any of you guys running a vq35 and you want to run gtr coils instead that's that's how i did it that's how you can do it so cheers to savage performance and spares for supplying the coils and letting us test them in our car so far we've got to 400 kilowatts at the hubs and a pretty pretty power hungry transmission setup so that's probably a good 650 700 horsepower at the engine so they're doing the job just fine so that's all good okay like share subscribe and we'll have some updates on some activities over the weekend shortly all right cheers boy